Set them all out. Just took the inner lintel out. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Two hours later. Alright, it's coming down nicely. Getting this down here now. There's still a bit more to take out there. But I'm going to get this, rid of this crappy pillar. Whatever it was supposed to be. Yeah. That's all holding itself up nicely. And a new frame. Stood framing if we stand about here. Yeah, we'll just build in front of that. Square off nicely. Good. So we'll kick out how this pillar was built. So it's only a one brick pillar, but they've been using like a three quarter. And then some little bit of brick. You can see it then, it's been like that all the way up. I don't know if it was any had any strength whatsoever. See now where it's been built up. This has been attached to that or something, but two of the different coloured mortars. Anyway, let me crack on nearly there. Later. Right. Took the nib out, what was protruding past here. So this is going to flow through now. Uh, I've got that cut off back there. I'm going to put my pads there. Still got to do this side. It's not a great deal. Lintels are coming today. Yeah, not bad. Oh dear. Dusty, dusty spring All right, not bad. I've got that cut back. Uh, I've got the pads on there. I've got a little bit of uh, that brick right there just to chip out. But that can wait. Got the rest of it. Uh, that's going to get boarded onto there. I just started to take the skim off here just so when I put a piece of board on, I can uh, tape it and then um, obviously make it flush with my new skim. Uh, also, just put on a Sonoff smart switch, so you can either turn the lights on. Let's keep them on for a while because I've got the protective plastic on it. Um, so you see there, Sonoff. So that works via the EWE Link app, which you can use via your mobile phone or your Alexa device. So that's cool. So I've just wanged the heating on again, uh, just to make sure I've got no drips off here. Uh, this morning there was a bit of a drip when I got here, so I, I just give it a nip up. But I did say, I said, you know, you usually find these when you, when the heating's full on. So, oh, God, that's toasty, that. I can't believe how much heat this little radiator and kicks out. This is called um, Henrad Low Line. I'll put a link in the description as to where they are. But yeah, that's, um, oh, it's lovely, it's lovely toasty. But yeah, so new radiator, new light switch, got rid of that nib, it didn't have to make the room look a lot bigger I think, and it lets a lot more light in, so I'm still going to get the lintels in there, but I think it's just going to flow nicely as well, all this along here, it'll just flow lovely, oh yeah, anyway, time for a brew! Alright, so I got the steel lintels in. I forgot to record yesterday, but it was, it was a busy day. So you see I've got mortar on top of the uh, lintels and then what I did, I propped them up. Okay, uh, you can see there, I'm going to take that out today. Bit of a stud frame here, just to build the pipes in with, just to... It's just the old island worked up. I got... That bit of plasterboard on there. What is the trick to make I put a bit in the lintel there and I've just built it out. I just stuck that bit of board on, made sure it's level. I always run it past, so you'll see it's way past where it needs to be. So when I stick my boards on, on that wall or on that lintel, then I just scrub that with a Stanley, cut it off. Job's a good and perfect size and it'll be the same on this side. Once that's gone off as well, it'll support the piece of board I put on there. Once it's gone off, cut it off. So anyway, I'm going to get this this bit done now. Oops. And uh, go from there.